Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another traditional piece, and once again, it's watercolor. I'm really having a lot of fun with this. I'm really sorry. I'll do digital and other, and other stuff soon. I just need to get out of the watercolor groove that I'm in. But as you can see, the piece that we're doing today is a little tiny. I'm using it, or rather, I'm using a Fabriano... 300 GSM postcard thing and if you watched my art haul video I, sh I sort of showed it off a bit there and I got it for my birthday from my parents and yeah I asked for paper for my birthday only an artist or an art nerd would ask for that but it's really beautiful uh, it's cold pressed so there's some texture to it but reactivating and mixing colors and layering colors are just like a godsend on this paper. Uh, I previously used some, like I, I previously used the Canson watercolor pad, though that was relatively cheaper. It wasn't their high end brand, but this one, oh, this one, it was so nice. Anyway, uh, this was sort of a spin off of my watercolor challenge thing that, that I've been doing. And as you can see, I had a lot of paint left by the end of the last video. And for that piece, I used a lot of the reds, the pinks, and the yellows. And this time, I wanted to use the greens. And I wanted to do something sort of monochromatic. Uh, I didn't really stick that. I didn't really stick to that to the end. But I did want to use green as my main color. So I'm calling this the monochroma series since there's another video with that is somewhat similar to this and with a similar intention. So I really like this green even though I didn't really use it a lot and I once again relied more on layering the colors to create shadows which I believe I managed to do somehow. Um, yeah, it's a relatively simple pose, nothing too drastic. I didn't want to go too crazy especially since I didn't have a lot of green left by the end so I used yellow for her hair instead. But I still think it turned out pretty well. And the thing that I love about this paper is that even the most subtle washes of color do come out on it. And it's super easy to reactivate and... Oh, man. No wonder people don't go back when they get fancy watercolor paper. I mean, you don't need fancy watercolor paper, but the things that you can do... Man, they're so they're so good. Like I don't feel worthy for this paper. <laughs> so this is another short video. As as you can see, the piece is very tiny, and there's not much to work on. So it ended up being six minutes. Like my videos are getting shorter lately. Uh, but don't worry. Once I do digital stuff, that's gonna hit back past the ten minute mark once again, and my internet will once again complain <laughs> that. I use up too much data. No, they don't really complain. I mean, uh, there are data caps here in the Philippines and I need to schedule my uploads in a way that it doesn't really eat up too much of my internet. Or I use it, I upload stuff when there's a lot of data left so that I don't use up the data in the morning to watch videos and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it's a matter of scheduling. Uh, I busted out my Faber Castle Pit Artist Pens for this just to create some line art. I tried to make it a bit subtle though there's no color that's super near this in the set so I had to go with the nearest color I can get. And originally the hair is just supposed to be yellow lines but it felt incomplete so I would add yellow paint to that later. So these pens, these pens rather, I got the set of that, the 48 set, and I got that for my... Oh, it is also for my birthday, but it was last year, like my 2016 birthday. <laughs> it's also for my parents. Yeah, that's, 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 I think, that's the only thing I got them. They're great, they're great, they're super great. They're not alcohol based, but yeah, they're inja ink based, so they're not as flexible as the Copic markers. Which I haven't tried. I'll try them eventually someday when I get my hands on them. But they're still pretty nice. I think they're meant more for lines and fashion and stuff like that over 
hardcore, the uh, full piece of work. Though you, you can create stuff with them. I've done that several times already on my channel. You can just look for those in on my channel. So really like, I really like how this one turned out. Uh, it's very sweet and relaxing and cool to look at. I mean, the color is very cool. Not like it's cool, but like the color tone is cool and sort of refreshing. So we're almost nearing the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please like or subscribe if you enjoy these, these kinds of stuff. I do them every Saturday on my time. <laughs> or my time zone rather. And follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt. And I'll see you around.